What I wanted to ask you is, uh, what was the biggest challenge that you faced in your research and how did you solve that challenge? This is a really difficult question for me mm -hmm. because biggest and largest and most mm -hmm. are above me. I can tell you we had many challenges. Every time there is a challenge, we think it's, this is it. <laughs> Everything we already passed, we passed. Right. And the future probably will be bright. But now there is a challenge or a problem. Let's call it more like a problem. So we, I had some. But they, um, actually, science for me was a luxurious part of my life. Doesn't matter if it went well or not. Because earlier I was very poor, I was an orphan, my father died when I was young and I had to, my mother was not okay, there was a baby at home, I had to help. So these things are survival, and survival you can't fight. To be a scientist, to work on a problem that is interesting for me, and be paid for it, and even have a lab, what can be better? So if it, if it has some difficulties, one has to think how to cross the difficulties or how to go to another direction or how to give up. So how to give up was my last choice and I didn't. <laughs> so the first most important, so I say now challenge, but the first challenge I had and it took years until the scientific community uh, observed it was just to, to work on this problem, or the problem that I wanted to work, is to understand how the genetic code is being translated into proteins at the atoms, atom level, molecular level. This was considered un, undone, <laughs> impossible, because it, re, it needs crystallization of the body, the, cellular body that does it, the cellular factory that does it, called ribosome, and people try to crystallize ribosomes and failed, and very, very good people. So, just to cross this border, and when I crossed it in a very little step, still convincing for me, but not enough for the world, this was really a big challenge. To, to, to convince the world, to show that my evidence are valid. And this went on for almost a decade just to, to report something and show that it, it, it is of meaning. It was not so uh, use, usual in, in this science. Anyway, this was the first, and I can tell you later how, how we attacked it differently from the world. And then, after six years of working, we got the first sample that seemed to be suitable but it vanished within less than a second. So this was a real disaster. <laughs> if not to call, yeah, I don't want to call it a, just a challenge. It was the students, I worked six years, but the students, two or three years each, you prepare a sample after so many years, it vanishes the minute the experiment starts. So, so this was, a, a, I think, the way we looked at it was a real breakthrough for us and for the whole world because the way we solved it, it became routine everywhere within less than a year, half a year. And uh, then was the challenge to, to use the data that we got and produce from this a structure that would have answered, could have answered our questions about the translation of the genetic code. And this took another almost a decade nine and a half years, so it's almost a right, decade. Right, right. <laughs> so uh, this, this per, uh, each of them was a big challenge. The last one lasted longer than anything else because every time we moved a bit, there was another puck <laughs> that showed we have to go back. But maybe I answered you and maybe I can't answer you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is really impressive. And also like uh, the way you stand up to the problem and then show it to the world that yeah that was the problem and then how do we solve it is very impressive and I think it would have been very disappointing at some point that uh, people are not believing you but this is remarkable that you actually thank you you see people I, I'm not sure that believe is the right word but they I I, I myself didn't talk in believing mm -hmm. uh, world but in expectations and if I tell you that in the beginning I had an expectation to really to reach the end, I did not. I had more, more questions to myself and I was as 
doubtful, not may as others, but quite doubtful. And, uh, the reason that I continued is that this little, little, little evidences that we collected uh, showed, showed progress. So it gave me the feeling that it's not time to stop. <laughs> there is still, still a sort of hope or expectation. And when it became true, it was even better than a dream because I didn't dream about it. Actually, it became much better than a dream because not only we understood the translation event, but also how antibiotics can stop it. So it, together, immediately, on the spot, simultaneously, we already went into translational work. It means with impact, medical impact. And this was above and beyond. Although we knew that there are antibiotics targeting this uh, machinery, we didn't know how. But I, I was lucky because my PhD in my PhD, I worked in non-perfect systems. And I found out that even in a non-perfect system, you can get a lot. An, an example for a non-perfect system is DNA. It's not my work, but uh, you know what, what the structure of DNA went, did to the world. Mine was collagen, you know, the, skin, uh, the skin protein. And even there, I could, uh, I could see how it's made, how it's built, what gives it its strength, what makes it contracting on just fibers, not, not perfect. Yeah. So I thought that uh, there, is a, there is a chance mm -hmm. that every little uh, new observation we had brought it from non-perfect to a little bit less perfect, to close to perfect and so on. Yeah, this is a perfect example as to like for young researchers to get inspired and see like go step by step and then you can yeah. play it out. Yeah, that's really good. So uh, actually my next question is like, uh, I know like you struggled a bit initially with uh, with the family issues and all these things. So uh, do you want to tell us like what was the major challenge that you had to face in your life uh, in general <laughs> and how did you get around and so then now you come back to major to challenge. <laughs> I think life is, is, is a continuation of challenges. It's growing challenges, lower challenges. Really difficult for me to answer about something specific. Uh, when I was a child, I thought that the definition of father is a person that has to go to a hospital once or twice a year, be operated or be treated, and coming back and be very weak. This was my father, and then he died. So. Uh, <laughs> I think this, this, things like this cannot be compared to, to science. It's, uh, in my opinion, he was treated well, but still, it didn't last long. He was brought it to. Uh, I mean, you have faced a lot of struggles. You had to uh, go through the period where people were not believing and all these things. So. Uh, based on whatever you learned from these things, how do you want to inspire uh, young researchers and people, your colleagues and all these things? Uh, what message do you want to give to us uh, <laughs> as an inspiration? Um, um, first of all, every person, if, if a person wants to, to be, I won't call it successful, but uh, in pl pleased with him or herself, yeah. is to do what one likes to do best. And best means not just best in, in comparison, but best for what the person can be. If a person can reach the best in something that is interesting for him or her, in something that is opening the head for him or for her, this is, this is my uh, suggestion. If we talk about science, one has to be curious. Curiosity, first property, Second is curiosity, third is curiosity even more, and the fourth is passion. If this, <laughs> this mixture is there, then uh, there is a chance that a, a person will be a good scientist and like it. And I think it's correct for everything, but curiosity is more specific. For especially for those that think about family and, and science, and this is mainly women, because they are uh, told by their community or family, now you won't be able to do it, you, won't be, you will not be a good, good mother if you are a scientist and so on. Uh, 
love to your family and love to people makes it. Mm -hmm. So passion to science and love to the family can make it if the person really or the woman really wants. There is no, no guarantee and no prescription, but this, this is what worked for me. No, that, that, that's, a, that's a very good point and also to bring to your point that it's difficult or it, at least it's assumed that the family balance for a woman would be difficult if you actually go too, that much into science and then do good things and all these things. Have, have you had to uh, like struggle uh, in that sense, like uh, being a woman was it difficult? Uh, I was never a man so I cannot, I cannot compare, the, the <laughs> okay? <laughs> but, but I can honestly say that people in politics, women in politics, work harder than scientists and more emotional and more on the spot and maybe more hours. It depends how, how high in politics. In art, performance, in dancing, in play, they have to work at least as hard as scientists, doctors, even nurses. So it's not a specific thing. But because science is uh, associated mainly with men in the past, and because it's easy to say science is not for you, you are a girl, worry about your family. Because uh, the, the community of scientists in the world is not so large. It's not as many as doctors or as dancers or as singers. Uh, although today no mother will say, don't go to science, you won't have a family. But they say it indirectly. You see, you see her? You see her? She couldn't find a husband because her head was in science. You see her? The, her she has a crazy boy, a crazy girl, a daughter, because she's in science. They, they say it uh, indirectly and this discourages young, young people and I think it's wrong. I, I, it's not the only profession. <laughs> and I'm sorry that I didn't compare to men, but sometimes I think that men have very difficult, very difficult time in science. They have to be as, at least as good as the women, as good as they can, and not always it's enough. And when they have to drop, they can't even have a, the excuse, I wanted to be with my children, which can work for women. Yeah, it's a, one has to be open head, and then female will not be so worried about their abilities. Right. But even with all these things, I mean, there are more women in arts and basically music and all these things, but less in actually like uh, academia and especially like at very high positions. So, uh, uh, do you have one thoughts? Like, uh, science, at least formally, it it's requires more because there are exams, there are years to study. A singer can start singing at the age of five, like Shirley Temple. <laughs> Doesn't have to go through so many exams, but her, her everyday life is more difficult. And parents, most of the parents, I don't want to say, they understand sport and, and uh, art more than they understand science, so they are pushing more. I think so. But, uh, it just, but I, I think that it changes. I just got some statistics that something changes. And I'm not sure that it's so important to change. I'm not sure that women have to do science, mm. but those that, those that like it and start it, they should be encouraged. Right. Uh, it's, not, it's not clear that we need to have half or so. It's, who cares? Mm. <laughs> one has to do what one's feeling. feeling. Women or men, it's the same. That's true. And so there's this recent book from uh, Cheryl Sandsberg, uh, Lean In, that talks about women at higher positions. And then she talks about like how uh, there's a lot of women like at the, uh, doing basically undergrad level studies. A lot of them like on, you can probably think of 50-50 uh, number uh, at that point. And as you move forward, there's like very few people very few women at the high, highest positions and she talks about like how uh, what is the reason that uh, basically stops them to do that and one of the reasons that she said is like women has less confidence in basically saying that they are uh, at the best even though they are they probably are better than uh, some man 
uh, so do you think that is the case like even uh, maybe, maybe she didn't even if they are uh, more competent in maybe she did some research on it which i'm not aware of i, do, I cannot talk about all women but yeah. i know some women that have a lot of confidence in themselves <laughs> <laughs> and, are, and also they're shouting it very, very loudly. <laughs> and uh, I, I know others. I, I know that in, in general the society thinks that women have to be cute and delicate and so on. But it's, it changes and maybe it's good. If, to, if women uh, follow this, this path and it's good for them, who am I to tell them to be different? But going into higher positions in uh, what I think what she means, I didn't read the book. She means, she means presidents of universities and a big uh, decision making. I think that we study science and we have to be scientists. This is what we want. Those that want to do administration, scientific administration, are always less than the others or less interested in what they did. And maybe women are more persistent to stay in the lab and do, do good work. This is, in my opinion, also a big success. Much, maybe much more than just become a president because we need a president, of, a woman president. I just want to tell you, I was kicked out twice. I was fired once and not promoted once. In both committees, one was the chair was a woman, <laughs> the other was there were three women. So <laughs> women can be also nasty to other women. And in my opinion, it's good news. I, I, I'm not saying it because I'm upset about it. it. It's good news. It shows that excellence is more important than, than gender, even if, if you are from the same gender. I think I, I look at it as a positive, in my, in my own name. I was not very happy when I was not promoted, but I think that it was uh, more or less the right decision at that time because I worked on something so esoteric, nobody understood, so why to promote, let her just work, or something like this. But uh, no, it's, uh, I don't know about this book. But, 